we have draw the free body diagram of the beam which is pin supported at A and rests on the smooth incline at point B. So of course again draw the object without any of its surroundings or supports. Let's go ahead and do that. So once I drew the beam here you draw the external forces being applied. I'm not going to go ahead and redraw the dimensions and so forth. But at point A we see that we have a hinge and a reactionary force for a hinge support is always going to be two components. One along the y direction AY one along the x direction ax okay so here are the forces for this the reactionary force for this um, support now for b we have it resting on a smooth surface in this case the reactionary force is going to be normal or perpendicular to that surface so it's going to be at this angle and we see we have the triangle here. We have the, the slope, the rise, and the run, which you could, of course, calculate that, that angle. But, of course, you could still draw this here. And here's the slope, the rise, and the run. Instead of solving for the angle, this is basically all information that's needed to solve for the x and the y component of the reactionary force at point B. And this is your free body diagram for this problem.